Ray County school bus driver with 27 students on board fails a field sobriety test and is hauled off to jail. Good evening, I'm Josh Rowe. I'm Kim Chapman. Michael Ledbetter worked for less than a year before he was fired today and tonight. He now faces several charges, including reckless endangerment. Well, Kylie Thomas joins us now live to tell us more about his history with the school. Kylie. Well, Josh and Kim, that bus driver is now behind bars here at the Ray County Jail where we are right now. He's accused of driving that school bus while under the influence. And get this, 27 students were actually on board of that bus this morning when he was asked to pull over. And tonight we're learning more about a new felony charge he faces. is back in rotation at Ray County High School tonight. The driver behind the wheel is now behind bars. Ray County Central Dispatch. This morning's typical bus route was interrupted when this 911 call came in. Our bus driver seems like he's drunk this morning. Smells like alcohol. I don't want to see anything. Oh Students called and texted their parents after they noticed their bus driver was swerving. A 911 received a call that a school bus was driving erratically. You're listening to Superintendent Jerry Levingood. He called parents after 58 year old Michael Ledbetter was arrested for driving a school bus with 27 students under the influence. Uh, the students were transported onto the high school and the driver has been terminated. It's not something that happens on a regular basis, of course. But it is very concerning as a parent. The sheriff's office increased Ledbetter's charges late this afternoon. He faces a felony charge of reckless endangerment. That's on top of the original DUI and possession of drug paraphernalia charges. The judge will have to set the bond and it's not been set at this time. Today's crime is leaving parents with one major demand, serving justice to the man accused of putting their children in jeopardy. The school superintendent tells us that there have been no previous complaints about Ledbetter, but two separate parents that I talked to today tell me that their children have complained directly to administration about this bus driver's behavior. We're talking cussing at students and finding cigarettes on his bus. This is a story we will continue to dig into and follow up on. But for now, live in Ray County, I'm Kylie Thomas, News Channel 9. Kylie, thank you. We've requested Ledbetter's personnel file. The school system has employed him since December of last year. A teenager with frost still in his windshield crashed into a stop school.